Alright everybody, hello. It's been a while since I've done, you know, a few videos on YouTube. And I got some other software and a Mac Pro now. Yeah. Um, actually, I didn't even do a video about that. I'll probably do that first. After this video. Don't worry about it. Um, so basically, I have Windows 8. See? Developer preview. So I don't know if it's just the screen or if it's the phone. It's the phone. So when does it developer preview came out uh, a couple of days ago for you know the consumers? Sorry, I said developer preview. I meant consumer preview. Came out for consumers to use and download and test and you know see if they actually want to buy and if it's worth worth their time. Um, I installed it on my MacBook Pro, the 13, 13 inch uh, mid twenty two thousand nine. And, um, you know, I, I'll admit this. If you talk to me and ask me what I love, like what operating system and what I do, like what I care about, um, I would say Apple all the way, everything, except for the iPad. I hate the iPad. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, I would say Apple all the way, like they're the best, right? And they're best because... Basically, what they what they've done is they set up this ecosystem of people that la 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 whatever, right? I can go on that for a while, but I'm just gonna not do that. I'm focused on Windows. Um, but yeah, I would have said Apple was the best. Um, but after playing with Windows 8 and you know basically seeing what Microsoft has in mind for like what they want to do, um, and when it comes out, basically like all that stuff, just I actually really liked it. Um, I know that it's very similar, especially this right here. It's very similar to Windows 7. Um, but it's still freaking amazing. Um, so I'm just going to shut up about a lot of that stuff and kind of just play around with it. Um, so one thing is if you do have a Mac, um, this trackpad will work. But there's no right click. Let me just really... Reiterate, reiterate that point. There's no see, see. Usually, and even if you click, there's, there's no, there's, 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 there's no right click. <laughs> so there's no right click with uh, the the key, the trackpad, and um, it doesn't really feel the sensitive touch that well. It looks like it does now, but I mean, I don't know. That like tapping on it like this without clicking it doesn't really do much. So, I think like. You can't tap for it to be gone. You have to click it for it to be gone. So that's one thing to know. And the other thing is the audio does not work yet. I mean, I'm sure these are things that are going to be fixed. It is a consumer preview, and it is right after the developer preview, so I'm not expecting them to work, but I'm just saying, FYI, if you're thinking about doing this, those are the things you must tackle. Um, other than that, it is... It's fast. It's, it's just like, you know, everything's quick, and everything's pretty smooth. I'm going to hit that instead everything is quick and everything's smooth so it's not like i have any issues with that part um especially on you know especially with this pro i can't say if i had the air still if it would be as quick it probably would be quick because the ssd but i mean oh, i had some resentment against the air after i got rid of it i realized why i didn't like it so much but basically what i'm here to say is give my opinion on windows 8 so far and I, at first when i first saw it what i really didn't like was this this right here I was thinking about Metro. I was like, I don't like Metro because what's going to happen? I'm going to start downloading applications and stuff like that from the store. And I'm like, the first thing I, the very first thing I th thought was everything I install is going to be over here. So really, it's just going to get really long. Like right now, it's pretty small. But yeah, right now it's super tiny. But what I keep envisioning is that I'm going to keep installing applications and stuff. It's going to get longer and longer and longer. And I'm going to be like scrolling through them as if I were on a tablet or something. And that's not kind of cool. I really don't like that for a, a desktop environment, but I'm getting over it. <laughs> um, I do like Metro. I've never used it before, um, but this is my first taste of it, and I, I do like this. I like. I mean, other than that, I like everything else. I like how everything kind of here, here at the central point. You click on it, it opens it. You know, basically it just does whatever you want it to do. It's, it's, it's good. Let's just leave it at that. It's good. Um, but 
in terms of Windows 8, I just think that Microsoft's going to have some catching up to do. Um, I know they're thinking, oh, we're going to pop out Windows 8, and it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it'll be amazing. It'll be good. You'll pop it out, and people will be like, I really like Windows 8. And I'll say I really like Windows 8. And I even, I was, at first, I was like, I'm not even going to buy a Windows 8 tablet. It's stupid. But now I'm like, I might buy a Windows 8 tablet. Or I might not. But, like, everything, you know, thing, I'm just... What I like the most is what I miss with Windows was the fact that I could use applications like these. These don't work on Mac unless you use Boot Camp or Parallels or whatever. And I don't like the half-ass crap. Like, if I'm going to install Windows on my machine, I'm going to install Windows on my machine. I'm not going to use Parallels. I'm not going to use VMware. I'm not going to use any of that crap. I'm going to put Windows 8 on my machine and get the full-fledged features of it. And that's basically what has happened. Um, but the developer preview resembles very much to Windows 7. Um, especially when you're in the desktop format, just, I mean, it looks, it is the Windows 7 basically, but when you go on the Metro side of things, it allows you to view features and play with things that you hadn't seen. Um, and I, I do think some people are going to have an issue when it comes to finding settings. Hold on. Stupid dual screen thing is messing with me. Okay. So like it took me a little while, like a couple seconds to really find it. Um, not as easy as going into the Windows thing, but basically here are your computer settings and stuff, so you can mess with those. Um, but, of course, me thinking like a fool, I didn't even think about clicking here and looking at, you know, customize, and then bring customize up. And once you bring customize up, then you can go to all control panels, and it's the, the traditional look for a control panel. So, that's not going anywhere. Um, I mean, it's... It is what you would expect, <laughs> don't expect something super flashy or different, but expect something that Microsoft has kind of invested time in um, and put put you know put their applications in here. I mean, you can you can merge your Xbox account. I mean, everything's one already. Apple's having issues putting all their mobile me accounts and all your email addresses to one account. I remember that was on the news at one point. Microsoft Microsoft's already done that. They have the what you call it? This thingy right here. Ah, they have the store, their store. They have their emails, right? I don't know why Guy was sending me stuff. They have their emails. They have, you know, photos and stuff like that. They have SkyDrive over here to the side. So it's just kind of like it was thought out. It was more thought out to put their applications into it, um, just like it was in the Windows Phone, I'm assuming. Um, but I just think it's really smart. I think this operating system is going to be successful. I'm not too sure about business side though. I don't see how the biz how business could use this other than, you know, basically the application that you could use for business. I think that's about the only thing I could see somebody really using. I feel like it's more for like an individual on the side of creativity or creating something or just basically using it every day. I feel like it's more for them, not for really, you know, businesses that are gonna be trying to, you know, use heavy stuff. But I could be wrong. But I just, that's the way I feel about it. Um, but, I mean, bringing over... It, they took a different approach than Apple did. They took the desktop they've always had for years, right? This layout's been like this for years. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they took this. They added Metro to it, right? If I haven't shown you this five billion times already. They took the desktop system over here. I'll just use this as an example. And they added Metro, which went away. <laughs> And, um, that's the way they decided to do it. Um, Apple took their, took their Macs and basically kind of left them alone, let them sell for, you know, a few months or a year or so, went with the iPhone and iPad, which is what I'm recording on right now, an iPhone, and they basically did the experience on two separate devices, two separate products. And when they did that, People kind of people are kind of getting more accustomed to this big ass trackpad for you know your multi gestures, you know they're getting more accustomed to the you know these buttons up here that allow you to use expose and and mission control and all that crap, and you know this new one um, mountain line is coming out to have your notification bar pan out from the side and have your notifications and messages. It just seems like now everything's coming back to the desktop um, or basically to the hardcore heavy hitter machines, because I don't think of tablets as heavy hitters. They don't. They can't do things like Photoshop, 
to a high extent. They can't do, um, um, shoot, Photoshop to a high extent. They can do Photoshop, but not like, not like these could. There, there aren't as many options or as edit or as many ways to edit as, you know, on a Mac or on a PC. So I feel like they're bringing the fundamentals from these products back to their, their desktop platforms. And um, they're going to kind of integrate those while developing these ones even more. Like, I feel like the iPhone, iPad, the uh, Android, and the Windows tablets and all that stuff, they're, they're just, they're surfacing. Of course, you know, they've, they're new. They're not like these. They've been around for years. And, and eventually, they're going to bring them over to do everything like Windows is doing now and Apple are doing now. But um, it's just really, it's interesting. I mean, I'll be waiting. I'm not... I, you know, I used to think of myself as a fanboy, but that's because I just hated Windows so much. And what I hated about Windows was the inconsistency, the, um, thoughtfulness that they put into it when they would create things like, um, like one of the things that the new Mountain Lion has is Gatekeeper, which allows you to, you know, basically install only applications from the App Store. People like me won't care about that. I'm, I'm gonna disable it. But people who don't know what they're doing, um, the fact that viruses are out there and they're taking the initiative to do that is awesome. Microsoft's answer, throw patches out every Tuesday. Or, um, install more virus protection software. You know, we're not going to really worry about that. We're going to focus on, I don't know, the next Windows. It's like, how many Windows have come out in the last couple of years? I mean, a whole bunch of OS Xs have come out in the last couple of years too. Don't get me wrong. A whole bunch of uh, you know Linux versions have come out in the whole in the last couple of years, but I just feel like they don't really they just really release the next product. It's a major release. Take care of the issues that are going on at the time they release it, and then after that they let you know M McAfee or all these other guys handle with the viruses or issues that come with Windows, and you're basically left there to figure out for yourself. I don't like that, um, and I just kind of like how Apple seems to care more. So that's why I stick with Apple, and I will stick with Apple. But at the same time. I'm not going to turn my back to Windows because I still like Windows, you know? Like, there's some piece of me, a very small, minute percent, that still likes Windows and, you know, basically wants to use it. So, I'm going to do that. Anyway, this video is too long. I kind of went off on a random tangent, but download the Windows Developer Preview.